everybody and welcome back to Danny and Sons Real Tech Mod Pack. As you can see, we're looking at me, I'm breathing out cold air and I've got my woolly suit on. And if you look at the temp tan temp tan info, tan temp info, get it right way around, you'll see the season's minus 14, which means we're in the middle of winter. But fortunately I've got a block of lava, which actually you can't quite see, it's just over my actually it's my over my left shoulder, hidden with a slab. Uh, which is the one nearby blocks which is giving me a plus one biome because we're in planes is plus two arm is plus four so I'm just surviving with a nice snowflake at temp five and I think it starts to take damage at three so we've got a little bit of play and I got my fishing rod in hand and if we have a look at this fishing rod because it's quite impressive I did fish it up didn't do anything I've got mending on it Curse of the Vanishing, so if I die it might disappear, despawn. Lure 3, now that, that basically means I'm going to fish, get more fish more frequently. Uh, I'm breaking 3 so it doesn't break. What happens is the water freezes from time to time, so I have to basically watch it. I'll have a quick demo I think, and we can then see that one. So if I just go back here, the water's frozen, so what I do here is I break the water with a pickaxe, and then I simply right click here on the door, uh, oh, I've got a program for often key. <laughs> so what I've programmed the, is the enter key on my keyboard, and I can just put a, um, a hammer on top of it. I'll put a little hammer on the top of it, and it holds it down for me. So as you can see, it fishes fairly frequently. I'm looking at my mini map. It's actually, I think that's more frequent than it was before. So rather than do that. Let's just stop that for the time being. Let's go up and do the controls and put the controls back again to the mean the standard game key. So the standard game key, you see, I've put it to return, which is the big enter key. Just reset that back, done. And then I can simply right click. Now in this chest here is what we've been catching. So I've been catching all sorts of things. Of course, the ice is from the ice. Uh, I've got a power four bow, curse of vanishing. That's not bad. And I've got a power four bow here. Oh, I can actually put those two on the anvil, can't I? I would like to get rid of the unpanishing ones. That gone breaking through now. I think one of these has gone breaking through now, actually. Power four. Ah, it has indeed. So we can put that on the anvil. And we get a power five bow, don't we? Fifteen cost. Now let's just check I've got this the right way around. I think that's the right way around. So the one with the better in chance you put on first. Let's just swatch it over and have a look. See, oh no, yeah, 13. So it must be the Curse of the Vanishing is a better, higher price. So that actually saves two. So then we get a bow with Unbreaking 3, Power 5. Not actually to be sniffed at. So we can then combine that with uh, our ordinary bow. And we should have wrong, wrong one. <laughs> and we get a Power 5, Unbreaking 3 bow, which is going to be pretty good. And I've actually got enough XP fishing, giving me XP too, of course, that's also good. So, I shall be back when the temperature gets up uh, out of the sort of start of the end of winter and start of spring. So I'll see you in a short while. Well, I'm back. Season's over. Harsh winter's over now, so the season's only minus seven. Um, so we'll look at actually what we caught. I'm changed the bow a little bit because it got some more bows coming along but I got uh, another water bottle I should I normally take these out in fact and putting them in the other chest where stuff doesn't stack I'm here I'm crafting another chest because this one got full <laughs> I'm not quite sure I'm gonna have to look up roasting does as you can see in fact I don't need that one and that would be sensible to put the water in there in fact I can take let's take another water bottle or two makes let's purify these up actually Four. Got the ice, and we got some boat. I got a book, blast protection. Four aqua, to aqua infinity and fortune three. So that's good for well, all sorts of stuff really. Uh, and bows. I got a roasting. I think I had that before. A couple of roasting ones. I got this one here. Luck of the sea two. I'm breaking three roasting. I actually got the same thing. I put it on my own. So I've got luck of the sea two and roasting. If it's possible, I would actually put those two together, um, and because they, it's really good. And I got some bows as well. I got this one here, Punch One Infinity. Now, Infinity is always a good. And this one's got Flame, Punch One, and this one's just Punch One. So I could put those two together, get Punch Two. But anyway, today 
you look at my if you look at my minimap and you look south over here somewhere there's a load of mobs and they're all moving around a bit so as you can see just look by the s on the minimap there you'll see that there's the zombies are all slightly moving around so that looks like it's a good place to put a mob farm so i'm going to do a mob farm today i think because it's probably about time and also what i didn't tell you when you're fishing see that this is distilled water it doesn't freeze when you're fishing uh, you don't tend to use up very much liquid so you're not drinking very much so we're, we're all right for temperature wise now what temperature we're at 11 which is fine so we can actually do things <laughs> fantastic oh i actually wanted to put this water in the front go and put water and of course you've you, you've got time to regain your health a bit when you when you're messing around and fishing as well that's another advantage uh, of course, I haven't reprogrammed my key from my fishing days. Let's just shove all of those into there. And then they'll get cooked if they can. And I need to do my key urgently. Got one flint in there, of course. Let me get my keys reset because otherwise I'm going to be controlled. So it's just gameplay, it's just the first page down. I reset that one. Done. In fact, you can just press escape, it's better. So they're going through there. And here we've got some. I did some iron, I think. So I've got to watch, you've got three pieces of flint coming up. It'd be great if there was a way to sort that out without, you know, to do it automatically and just end up with the ingots. Because flint obviously is pretty good too. So now, I've lost a backpack. I don't know where it's gone to. It should be on my back. In fact, I've got two. Anyway, mob grinding utilities. What have I got in here? Oh, yes, I know what I want to do. I wanted to do, first thing, I'll have a look at my shuriken. Let's remove this out of the way and put some paper in. I want two knife blades. I had an idea. I don't know if it's going to make any difference. And what you can do with these, if I take my shuriken here, I've only got reinforced three. If I want to make this reinforced five and then have an unlimited armor, uh, which I do want to have unlimited. Let's take out the tool forge over here. So if I put this here and put some paper on here, then does it? So at the moment we've got. 7.8 now what does it do if we do this so it takes the attack damage by 4.7 do you know i'd like to do that because then i know yes i think i'll leave it for the time being but that's the, my my idea i'm going to put that on there make it reinforced so we've got five modifiers then we can put onto that the um the two reinforcements and get unbreakable then you've got your unlimited ammo Oh, it's night time. You don't notice when it's night time when you're doing that stuff, do you? So the idea is to set up a little mob farm over there today. Happily, I'm put it on my checkboard. Let's put it. On, where's my? Ch where is my checklist? Let's just update the checklist. So, so I haven't done episode. Se let's do episode seventeen. So, for some reason, it's going to start on the line. 18 18 episodes already let's start. so we're done fishing loot i suppose is the best word for that because it, it is actually pretty awesome so we've done that one let's do mob farm next um let's no let's do for modify shuriken hopefully i spell that right and i have a spell modify right never mind I'll put a question mark on that one because we've done that as well so next we need to do mob grinding utilities hopefully we can do most of these i'm not 100 percent sure i think it's i certainly know for one we've got um when we need some blaze powder now at least we can go and have a look at that next i think let's go and put this back on the wall over here between the two windows i don't need to carry it with me So, mob grinding utilities. Let's have a look. So, we've got all this stuff. We've got buckets of XP, liquid XP. And we've got the singularity tank. Now, I would have liked to have made the XP drain, but it requires iron surrender, which I haven't got yet because I haven't got any blaze powder. Um, an imaginary not here sword, I don't know what that does. 
but basically we need to make a mob masher first of all now to make a mob masher i know we need to make these iron spikes what do we need for that actually that's not too bad block of iron iron swords two iron swords some iron spikes now the iron spikes is probably the most expensive bit so we need uh six eight iron swords so we know i'll do this first of all have we got enough sticks if we have good eight iron swords is 16 pieces of iron if i split this into three and half that and we should have our 16 i could have split it in two would have been better wouldn't it now i haven't got enough space here so what can i do to get some more space do you know it would be sensible putting a chest beside this crafting table what have i got on here because i've got the i've got the part builder on the central table with the pattern chest between the two which is perfect and i should probably put this part chest beside between these two i probably need to move things around and then i put a chest there then i could shift click stuff into a chest i don't know why i haven't done it actually but I've got enough room. Yeah. Could we go and I could go and set it up in here. I think this is a big room in here, so we could move it across over here. But it's a bit awkward to the entrance is around the side here, isn't it? It is a big room. I think all the villagers have died. <laughs> Ooh. It's a big polluted room. Look at that. Can't even get in. <laughs> oh that's a different it's a different room altogether, that one. Why is that polluted so much? Yeah, you look at this. It's in a very awkward spot. But we can always change that. I can reconfigure the door. Oh, I can't do this, can I? Because I'm also going to get cold in here. Can I jump across here so we can jump across here? And this is also polluted. Oh, we got must have one torch. Brilliant. Well, let's get rid of the torch and let's put in the in its place there. A jack o' lantern. Let's press F7 and see where the stuff is. Everywhere. Let's put it on this dirt block there. Oh, it's just it's got a little bit now. It's better than it was. <laughs> so we need two more jack o' lanterns for that one. Right, okay. Oh, actually, I can get that way reasonably easily, can't I? So I'll probably move that into that thing and make a better entrance. At least an entrance I can get to directly without having to go across the stream. So, right now, as I said, I'm sure I've got a jack. I've, something gone disappeared. I don't know when it disappeared between episode 16 and 17. Did you also notice this one has pink smoke, as this one's got grey smoke? That's <laughs> that was another observation. Right, okay, distractions. So let's get rid of all the stuff that I can. Let's have I got six pieces in here. I'm going to make a chest. Uh, can't do it on there because I messed that up. Let's just make a chest quickly. Chest. I'll also turn off that as well. So let's put the chest down here. Let's press F7, get rid of the lighting stuff, and put everything in here. I don't want anything at the moment. And get rid of some stuff. We can probably get rid of these. Let's have a look if we can get rid of those. Yes, we can. I still not gone, that's in there. Let's put it in this chest over here for the time being. Cobblestone I can get rid of too, but what do I want from here? Actually nothing, I'll just take the iron and the stick. Oh of course I messed that up now. But no big deal, I'll just half that this time, get it right. So that'll give us our eight swords that we need, because that's just as you see, fills up your inventory quite a lot. And how much iron have I got in here? 62. Tell you what, go and catch some more out of the out of the furnace and also empty it out at the same time. Bound to have some flint in there. What did that say? Let's shove the flint in there and take some more iron out of that. That's give me okay, two and a half stacks, that's not bad, is it? And there's some more coming in through there. I just have to wait a second. I think the next thing is going to be a piece of flint. And it'd be good to get this iron process and not. There we go. And there's another piece of flint just coming up. I'll do that in a minute. Actually, I've got the flint into here. I don't want it with me. 
Actually, we'll take the drinking water. I want drinking water with us while we're here. It'd be a good idea. In fact, that reminds me of... Oops. I probably don't need the fishing rod with me. I'll keep the bow, of course. Right. So now, blocks of iron, I think. We need to make one of those. So we need two blocks of iron at least. It'll take three of those, that'll do. So we should be able to make these. So we need two of these. Of course they don't stack, so that's... Swords don't stack, that's why you can't do it in one. So this one needs two iron swords and three diamonds. A block of redstone. So that's, I think, everything we need for that. Oh, what's that? Block of, another block of iron. Oh, we got that already, haven't we? Good. So it was right. It was three blocks of iron. Good. So, of course, that needs a lever, which is fairly straightforward. One piece of cobblestone, which I think is in here. We've already got levers made anyway, so I'm going to make another lever to do it. Ooh, to power that up. And actually, I think, let's have a look. There's some new stuff in there. I've seen Ender. Ooh, Ender inhibitor to activate. Uh, inactive, active. How does this work? Oh, okay, another trip to another. But now that would be good. I don't think there's an um, an Ender tether in this one, is there? If I can spell it right, th. That's Deckercraft. When did that pick up tether? No, I don't think so. We have got an ender tether in here, which is great. This is new. I haven't seen that before. And I guess that's also activated by redstone signal. Just checking in the other way around, but uh, I don't think we'll see an stone, of course. An ender electronic tube. What does that one do? Doesn't tell me. It makes an ender farm managed, which does doesn't tell me. Okay, fine. Oh, information. That's all. Electron tubes. Yeah, we know that. What's it telling me in the board? Okay, so it's for, <laughs> it forms chorus fruit. Chorus fruit. Okay, chorus flowers with end stone will produce chorus fruit. That's interesting. Okay, that's new as well. I haven't seen that before. So, I think I can survive this, this at the moment. What temperature is it? 10. I'm just thinking about something here because what I was thinking about is, I need a better pick. 10. Maybe we can take the better armor if I'm going to go and fight mobs, which is probably is going to be the case. And I would also need some arrows. That would also be a good, sensible start, wouldn't it? I think that'll do for arrows for the time being. Um, so 10 minus 4 is 6. That's fine. We can cope with that temperature. We'll just check it's still 6 over here. I suspect these mobs are in these caves up here like that. that with oh my chest button that's fine so whether here's a good spot for doing it, I'm not sure because it's got some nice pollution in there already <laughs> okay I'm gonna set it up here so I shall see you in a while I'm not going to do all the, the bashing and carving around when on camera well, I'm back. I built the hole. I'll come and show it to you in a second. As you can see from the temp info, it's now season is minus three. So that means it's it took quite a while to do that. Anyway, so we'll look what we've got on the thing. You'll see a ladder up here. So that'll take us to the top. Hopefully we can get down. <laughs> in fact, as it happens, I built this passageway here. And this passageway will lead to Actually, the chamber's just above us here, and I've got the mob grinder here, so I'll leave that off, and I'll show you from the top. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but 
obviously to make this more efficient I've got to go around and fill in all the caves about which might take quite a long time because there's quite a few caves anyway we're going to try it and I did have put a little bit of heavy impact on my tools as it happens I don't want to go that way I want to go down here I'm not exactly sure the best way to do this, I have to be honest. I, it's sort of blocked off a bit there. I don't think that matters too much. And also I managed to hit this cave over there, so that's the, that was the way the water was flowing out. So it, says it's, it actually says it's running, it's not running. So, actually I haven't brought enough stone with me. Ha! Huh. Never mind. I definitely haven't brought enough stone with me. Huh. Let's go mine up some quickly. Need a few more bits and pieces, not very much. But as you can see, there's a hole here, and a we can just do these couple, I suppose. Well, that should be enough, I think. So, we'll fill in this hole here, so that stops light, so we get a better chance. Come through here, we'll fill up these holes here, and then we we'll remove the torches. And I'm hoping it's going to work. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, it won't actually work that well, will it? I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I've done that too soon. Tell you what, let's put a torch down. Let's I want to minimise the number of torches. I need to put some conveyor belts or something down here, don't I? There. I'm just doing it by. I think we'll do it. I want to minimise the torches, obviously. It's pollution. Pollution's bad. It should be 15 by 15, this. I'm not exactly sure I got it the numbers right because it didn't quite add up in the bottom when I was doing the hole, but. Ah, they can save dark, don't hurt. So, what I want to do is make some conveyor belts or whatever. Let's go and do that. Now it's always a good idea to put a block in front of a ladder when you build a ladder so you don't fall off it. And you look down you go fast. I don't think that was a... I thought that was not part of Minecraft. I thought it was a, mo a mod that did that. But I think it must be part of Minecraft these days. Unless Danny's got one of those mods in that does that. So let's, the one I'm thinking about doing is no, normally I don't turn off the stone leaders anymore. As to, I've got slime balls in, and actually, mob grinding utilities has got an entity conveyor which I think I'm going to use. It's not too expensive, it's basically iron, redstone, plenty of iron. We'll get plenty of red iron out of the system. How much have we got in here? 199 plus two stacks there, that's not too bad. A stack of that. Maybe just basically slime balls, of course, slime balls come for all jellyfish, so fishing's worthwhile. So that's going to give me 48. I don't know whether that's going to be enough, to be honest with you. We can, we can try. I also like to make some stairs while I'm here, actually, as it happens. Can I make stone steps? You know, I'm not sure if I can make stone steps. I've got plenty of recipes, of course. don't think we can because this Minecraft stuff's always at the beginning isn't it I can make the other type of steps of course I can make these I actually quite like these steps anyway let's do the recipe for that one so that'll give me a bit of stone steps if I want to make some stone steps when I'm there of course when you break the stone steps it of this type you don't lose the pattern well, I'm just looking for another piece of uh, stone bricks. I've got some around it, I think. At the moment, I'm a bit concerned about my missing backpack. I shall take that with me. So let's go and put these down. 48. I'm going to have to do a lot more fishing to get this up, up on time. What's the other way of getting... Uh, Honey, wasn't it? Maybe we got a bit from honey. That's 
started off as a setup there and I thought, oh, that's a bit daft, wasn't it? Really? It'd be easy just to go along here. I could probably fly in. I'm going to go down here. I tried to avoid the pollution, which is building up slowly. And here we are. So I think I'd like to take it down one. I've got no idea how much we're going to need for this. Let's just try. It's quite a big area, 60, 16 by 16, 64, isn't it? Minus 9. So let's put these down, see what happens. Wrong way around. Oh, OK. I um, guess I have to neutral. So I have to do it the other way around. They actually work on me, or is it just push entities? Oh yeah, it all went fast. Oh, <laughs> I don't want to fall down there particularly, so I'll be careful. Oops. How am I going to do this? I'm coming down from there, so I basically want to do this side, don't I? First of all. Let's just do this corner. I got a feeling I'm going to have to make loads and loads of these, so I'll use cobblestone. Oh, cobblestone. It's a bit slow this pick. The emerald picks a lot faster than this one, and the silk touch is even faster. So if we want to go that way, basically I want to push people towards that hole, don't I? Entities towards that hole, and I presume they can spawn on this as well. That's another question. So if we start off here, we want to go that way, like that. Let's push them that way, and then we want to push them this way and that way. I think it's only the it's only the corners you have to watch out for rest of it is fairly straightforward. So I'm just going to do this like this. I might even be able to leave these off actually. So the rest of these can go like this. Um, yep, this way. So that's the wrong way, of course. There's always one. goes like this that one should be pointing this way there to there actually it doesn't really matter that much does it I think this one's pointing the wrong way put it the right way around and get picked up huh <laughs> Very fast. Okay, so that's that one. That wants to be this way around as well. I should get picked up because I got the right armor on. Unless it got thrown into here very fast. Could have done. Oh. So now, next lot. Ooh. Okay, that's just one extra hole, doesn't need to go that far back. I'll tell you what, I'm not oh, wrong one. I'm not gonna film all of this, am I? So I shall come back in a minute when I've done, finished as much as I can do. I'll see you in a few seconds. Well, I'm absolutely not sure if these are gonna be spawnable areas. I haven't got the red crosses on it. But I did find out one thing, you press shift of course and you're on these and you don't get pushed. Um, mobs can't shift which is good. Let's put that one down there. So they should all get sent around. So basically it's pointing to this corner here like this. I don't see anything down there. Let's go down and see if we get anything at all from this farm. The mobs should move around, and I don't think I've got to make some more. Uh, Convalid belts, possibly. If I get nothing, is it night time already? Goodness. 
I shall have a quick sleep in that case. <laughs> and we can sleep here fairly safely because the mobs won't spawn. It's less than 24 away. blocks away. Actually, 17, 19, night time. Because when you're down, down, down in the mine, you don't really notice what time of day it is, is it? Now there is a creeper there. Oops. <laughs> yes. And there's another one somewhere else. As you see, lots of pollution. I was not sure I can didn't get into my hand fast enough. Is there a second creeper over here by the looks of it? Oh. Can I get out of here without having to put blocks down? Ah, no, not really. Let's just dig away out here. Now, is that second creeper there still? That's a strange noise. Well, let me just do this. Turn off the markers because I can't see anything from them. It's over there still. Oh look, zombie. And a skeleton. Well that seems to be fairly effective, doesn't it? So look, where's that creeper gone to? Uh, there. see him but it is fairly effective the shuriken that's good news now of course you, you can collect your ooh, you can collect the shuriken bits I got some plaster that's good always good golden chest plate enchanted and breaking too I think there's a few more bits and pieces around here well I'm gonna have to tidy that up and I'm going to, have to do that off camera, I think. What's, I'm not 100% sure about the mob. Where's he gone to? How do I get out of this place? <laughs> it's over here, I think. Actually, I should just follow fish because I put a marker for fish to see where the fish were. They're just there. So it's basically, it was 45 blocks away from there, from that. Hopefully that will actually work. Let's have a look at the ammunition on this thing. So it's got eight to seven, so I shot off too many. Okay. But it does kill them fairly fast, which is also good. It's a good short range weapon. So I think the next thing to do is since it's not cold so much now, what temperature is it? I'm going to go to the other base and set up the nether portal. So I need a flint and steel, which I'm not sure I've got as it happens. I've got plenty of iron in here. Let's get rid of some of this junk. Let's get rid of the cobblestone or whatever we've got in here. Stairs. I'll leave the stairs down in this chest. So we don't need those. We'll need some water, I think. Always need water. I don't think I'm going to need the... That, what temperature is it? 10, I think. Oh, maybe we do because extreme hills is minus seven so we'll just make sure that we've got some that with us i'm not taking the backpack i want obsidian and i want the flint and steel and i've got a feeling that the flint and steel was in the backpack that i can't find <laughs> don't need those either what else have i got in my our oh, rotting flesh that's very useful because we can use that rotting flesh i've been saving it up because the E needs smite, and smite will give me us diamond sword, us iron swords. Looting, okay, that's a good one. Fire, don't care about fire so much. I think it was this one. What's this one do? Smite, yes, that's the smite one, so that kills the undead better. Then other zombies. So now, 
I'm thinking about. I want the flint and steel, don't I? Well, I'll tell you what. I haven't got it with me. I'll just make another one. We've got no shortage of flint these days. In fact, let's get rid of these bones. I think they've got a better place for bones, but for the time being, I'm going to use those. These will slowly repair over time, by the time we get there. But we can self-craft flint and steel, which is good, except for I put the iron back, which isn't so good. That'll do. For, just take a couple of pieces of iron with us, just in case. I should really make... Um, no, shouldn't make anything, I don't think. Actually, I do know what's missing. My gelled slime stuff. That's not around, is it? I think that must be in the missing backpack. And I'm sure it's on my back, and I'm sure I can't put it down. I'm right clicking and it's not coming down. It's not going down. Anyway, let's go to the other base. Uh, I don't need that one with me. Have I got any food? Fish. That'll do just fine. Have I got anything special I need to check for my food? That's the other thing. Dairy, okay, that's just a bucket of milk, that'll do fine. I've got a bucket, I need a spare bucket, I'll take this bucket over here. Arrows we've got plenty of, that's no problem. I think. Obsidian. <laughs> I knew I was missing something. So we need ten of these for a portal. Okay, so I'm off to the I'm off to the new base. I'll see you in a short while. Well, I've reached base, the new base, and I've set up the portal already. Let's just light it and go in. I've got my change my armor back onto the non woolen armor. Now, the reason I'm doing this, hopefully, it's not going to be too dangerous. I'm sure I've just got my shuriken in my hand. Oh, it looks a bit dangerous. <laughs> yeah, it looks rather dangerous. So can I go out this way? I can, good. So it just happened to spawn on the edge of a cliff. Nice, just over a lava lake. Now, over there is the other portal, 156 blocks away. Now, the the idea is I can do the, get into that portal. Maybe I can run across there and go to the other base faster, doing it that way. I've got a bit of dirt. That's not very clever of me. Let's just go back and put another. Dirt's not very strong either, so... What the idea is to find another, hopefully find a fortress. Because I really do need to get some blazes. And I don't see anything around here. And I've got to be careful because some nasty mobs are about. So let's just mark this portal here again. I will do it in, oh, I suppose we'll do it in green, light green safe. So we can see the two portals and now is there anything around here that's of interest to us? Do I see any glowstone? Right up there. Some ardite there, but not very much. Certainly out of reach. Cobalt down there. On <laughs> a great big lava lake. Brilliant. I can't hear any na nasty mobs at the moment, like gas. That doesn't mean to say it ain't going to come. So what am I going to do here? So I should really put another block on there, shouldn't I? Let's give myself a chance of not falling into that. And of course I'm hot. And that's what that's the problem I've got. I can't find the other armour. As I said before, right, time to go home. Hopefully we, we just walk out. Yeah, good. Hmm. And of course, as soon as you get out, it's, it's, bit, it's a bit cooler. The temperature will come straight down again. So that's not great. What can I say? But it is a good way to travel back to the other base if I can set up a way to get there. So there is one backpack here, but it's not the one I need. It's the one I need is the one with the other stuff in it. Hmm. Okay. So until next time, I wish you would get out of those 
markers or the torch. Until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.